what's up guys, Huso7 here, and today I've got a quick video just to show you some tips and how to access your achievements in the menu, uh, messages, all sorts of things when you're playing on your 360 games on your Xbox One using backwards compatible. So you can see here I've got uh, you know Red Dead Redemption pulled up. This is on my Xbox One, so I can you know see push a button here and I can get to all my Xbox One stuff. Uh, but if I push the uh, start button and the select button, or you know whatever you call it, like these, it's got the two squares and the three lines. If you push these at the same time, you can actually bring up. Uh, let's see if it works here. Here we go. You can actually bring up the uh, Xbox 360 uh, menu. So again, you see I'm on the Xbox One. Uh, and if, pu if you push the Xbox, you know, button, you can you can navigate to your menu just like you regularly can. But when you push these two buttons together on the 360, you can pull uh, up this menu. Now, why is this important? You might ask. Well, uh, what's important about this is because this is how you can view your achievements. Now. In theory, you can also just, you know, view your achievements uh, like this. Um, oh, and it, it even tells you here if you want to view your Xbox 360 achievements. But this is going to be a, you, you can't uh, actually view your Xbox One games here because it sees it can put them all together. So I just have 20,000 uh, for my Xbox One games. But now you can actually view your achievements. Um, you can actually view your messages. You come over here, you can view your messages. You can even start a party on this. You can manage your beacons and activity if you want to connect with other people to play. Uh, you can manage your storage here too, um, which is interesting because I did a video to show you how you can get access to uh, your uh, save games by copying those over to the cloud. So this is an important feature if you want to access all of this stuff uh, because uh, you know you, you need to know how to do this. So again, it's the, it's the start and the select button at the same time. Just press them briefly and that will allow you to pull up this menu uh, when you you're playing on the Xbox One. So there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It's just a very quick video to uh, give you guys some information about this. I'm uh, going to have a lot of videos coming out, uh, you know, so if you have any requests about uh, stuff you want to see when it comes to backwards compatible games, let me know, because uh, I've got some videos coming out, and I'm going to be doing some live streams for backwards compatible games, because this is definitely one of my favorite features. So uh, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to uh, leave them in the comment or send me a uh, post on Twitter at Husso7. Thanks so much for watching.